Welcome to JSA TV. It is absolute delight to be here with you today, Charlie Sellers from Microsoft. My name is Susanna Cass from Digital Gravity Infrastructure Partner and also Stanford University at Data Cloud USA. It is absolutely delightful to be in this community. We all talk about how we can all achieve the net zero goal. One of the key topics that you and I are passionate about is seeing how wonderful the industry is progressing. And I think actually things are going pretty well for us in 2024 in terms of the growth. And at the same time, uh, over 80 somewhat gigawatt has already been contracted on renewable energy and most of them came out from our sector. So thank you for what you really do. Totally. One of the topic, however, is that just doing the just energy transition is essential but insufficient. What is really lacking is one of the topics that you are an expert on, which is carbon dioxide removal. Charlie, can you share with us, within Microsoft and the whole strategy of sustainability as a director leading for CONI, how did it all get started and what is the rationale behind Microsoft being a pioneer in this particular field of carbon dioxide removal? Yeah, absolutely, Susanna. And I love your point that the renewable energy transition is essential but insufficient. And it goes into the way in which we structured our sustainability commitment to become carbon negative by 2030. So back when we set that in 2020, the ramifications of that were that by 2030 and every year after, we would actually pull more emissions out of the atmosphere than we emit. Now, of course, that involves renewable energy to reduce our emissions profile, a lot of work in our supply chain to reduce the embodied carbon, a lot of the work that we do. But at some point, you're going to have to start working on the other side of that ledger to truly become net zero. And our goal by 2050 is to eliminate all of the emissions we've ever produced as a company. And the only way you can do that is with carbon removal. And I think that's an important point is that if anyone has a net zero target, the only way you achieve it is with a carbon removal program to balance the other side of your emissions ledger. Thank you very much for sharing that um, insight and the implementation plan that Microsoft have done. That's why being covered in the National Geographic cover page and also supported by the IPCC science evidence. So in addition to what you do at Microsoft, let's talk about the industry. Um, can you comment a little bit more about what are all the different efforts from an industry collaboration perspective that Microsoft is a pioneer as well? Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, we're looking to try to build the market, not dominate the market. And so we're part of something called an advanced market commitment with our peers like Salesforce, Meta um, and Google as well, alongside, of course, Microsoft to try to grow and expand this market for carbon removal because it's such a new market and an immature market. We would much rather grow that market together and build it to be mature than try to dominate something that's immature that won't be sufficient to get to what society ultimately needs in terms of the sheer volume of carbon removal that we need. So it's really a call to action is I think we want more players to come to the table to get involved in carbon removal, not fewer, because if all of us play in this space, we'll all succeed together. Indeed, the Symbiosis Coalition indeed is an industry-wide program. Yeah. I would say similar to the effort that other of your colleagues in the organization does in terms of addressing the embodied carbon material, making a timber data center, they all kind of go hands in hand together as a very open platform. So by doing all of that, you're, you're sincerely actually doing more than just the data center uh, footprint. Uh, you are genuinely making impact to the society. Can you share with us the community vision that Microsoft has? Yeah, absolutely. And I think that's a really critical point because, you know, this carbon negative commitment is a global commitment across all of our operations. But it's the communities in which we operate that really feel the effect of whether or not we're living out our mission to the best of our ability. We put forward something called our data center community pledge, which I think is really critical. And it's a pledge to the communities in which we serve that will not only be good environmental stewards where we operate, but we'll also invite them along the journey to, to uh, make sure that we're leaving their community in a better place than we left it. A great example. I'm from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and uh, we're doing a lot of work around our data center uh, community there to clean up rivers, to skill the community in AI's uh, skills and tools. And this is the pledge that we have, and we must keep going forward to uh, be sustainable uh, members of the societies in which we operate. Well, thank you, Charlie, for everything you all do. This really got me very excited because JSA also come up with a greener data center is also about the community. So we are all doing different parts in that regard. And uh, Thank you for taking the time and thank you for actually being here. Yeah, absolutely. It's and a thank pleasure. Thank you, JSA TV. And thank you as well.